Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Care. Today's topic of discussion is a MCQ. The question is what is the correct order of acidity? So here you can see four options are provided. I request you students please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. Student, when such question comes, we shall go about the relative parts later on. But first let's understand their actual individual acidity comparison and reason. But remember, whenever a problem given about acidity, you need to instantly think the stability of conjugate base. Conjugate base means if you remove one H plus, means you are dealing about acidity, so you need to obviously check H plus releasing tendency. Whatever remaining negative part that is called as conjugate base or CB. So if we understand the stability of conjugate base, then we can get. And by the way, if you look at the compound options, it is benzoic acid, I mean this one versus all three hydroxy benzoic acid, orthoenz, meta hydroxy and para hydroxy. So in order to understand this, let's first draw the conjugate base of all four structures. Now student, I have drawn all four conjugated bases, CBs. Now here interest one question may come in your mind, sir, what kind of effect this OH group actually exerts? Student, this OH group exerts two types of effect. One is called minus I effect. This minus I effect generate because of the electronegativity difference between this oxygen and this carbon atom. Oxygen is more electronegative, consequently it pulls electron density towards itself through this sigma bond and that is called as minus I effect. Another effect is there which is called as plus R effect. So if you can push, electron density will come here. So in this way, I'm drawing at least one canonical form. So here, ox since oxygen have donated its one lone pair, consequently it will have some deficiency of electron and carbon will have some excess of electron. That's why the ring is having minus charge. If you draw other canonical forms, one conclusion you will get that these ortho position have slight excess electron density, two ortho and one para position. Now one thing, if any electron withdrawing group or in this case this carboxylate anion present in this ortho or para position, then that will be stabilized to lesser extent. Why? Because already that ortho position have some extra electron density and you are trying to delocalize the carboxylate ions extra electron density through that. Not possible. Okay. So and remember one thing that for this hydroxyl group the plus r effect is more dominant over minus i effect so this electron donation is more so if you look at this meta isomer this one three electron density is somewhat here somewhat here and here and if you just in case of ortho here 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 but the deciding factor is student for this ortho and para because since the negative charge is slightly more here and here so it will go work against stabilizing the conjugate base. So it doesn't allow the stabilization more. But however, in case of ortho, there is some advantage. Advantage means this part. And this is actually known as intramolecular hydrogen bonding. Means the hydrogen bond itself inside the molecule. And these intramolecular hydrogen bonding is responsible for the stabilization of conjugate base. That's why, although this plus R effect is going against, but this is second point. Here, if you look at oxygen is in two position, so still this OH can exert this minus I effect. So combination of this minus I and here hydrogen bonding, conjugate base is stabilized. And in this case, this example, the hydrogen bonding role is more. But same, these plus R effects negative point will go here. Now, if you look at OH group at para position, so obviously no minus I effect, but this plus R effect will try to destabilize the conjugate base compared to the unsubstituted one benzene. So first, who is maximum stabilized or maximum acidic? Obviously option A, salicylic acid. Second, now if you say who is minimum stabilized, logic will be option 3, para hydroxy benzoic acid. Now, what about this meta isomer? In this case, remember student, the conjugate base O minus and this proton distance is very high. Consequently, hydrogen bond not possible. But still, if you look at the resonance, means negative charge density here, here and here. So it is not that much responsible for destabilizing the 
conjugate base. So, okay, it's good. And second thing, at three position, minus i is very weak, but still you can expect a little bit. So, it is actually the second in the rank. So, first is the salicylic acid or 2-hydroxybenzoic acid because of this intramolecular hydrogen bonding of conjugate base. Second is this meta-isomer. Third is student actually the unsubstituted one and fourth is this 4-hydroxy four benzoic acid. Now, let's go to the experimental proof, the pKa values of 4 benzoic acid derivatives. So, you can see the first pKa 2.97, it is minimum. Actually, remember the rule, pKa less means more acidity. So, this 2-hydroxy maximum, second position goes to 4.08, third position goes to benzoic acid, and fourth is option C. So, what is actually order 1 greater than 2 greater than 4 greater than 3. Now, if you look at here, student, what is the correct order of acidity here? Here, I guess option C. Now, if you don't know the answer, how can you find out? First, you need to know this is maximum acidic because of intramolecular hydrogen bonding. Second thing, who is minimum acidic? Option this. Now, if you know these two options, you can find out using process of elimination. This is very helpful for solving MCQs. Now, so first option is 1. Okay, 1. Last option is 3. So, how many options? So, these two information, if you combine only option C is left. If you do not know that much also, student, your problem could be solved. So, this is actually based on common sense and knowledge and practice. So, learn more, practice more and that will help you to secure better marks or rank in your exam. So, this is the end of the discussion. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.